In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the reject, sum, and every functions provided by the underscore JS code library. Now, to make use of underscore, we actually have to include a reference to it, um, either from like a popular CDN, as I have done here, or actually download the file to your local project and reference it from there. So the reject, sum, and every functions are one of the many uh, functions that are provided by underscore to allow you to basically um, execute some type of predicate function against an, uh, a collection of items to either retrieve back a list of items or to find out if an existing item or, a, or an item that matches that criteria actually exists in the array or the collection. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how these functions work. They're actually really, really simple to use. Uh, the first one we'll take a look at is reject. So I have a little array here of, of numbers, 1 to 8. And so we're going to store the result here in a result variable. We're going to go underscore dot reject. And then in here I'm going to pass my nums array. And then I'm going to pass in a predicate function. Now this predicate function will actually accept uh, three parameters. It will actually have the value, so in this case it would be the value would be one on the first iteration, two, three, four, and so forth. The second parameter is the index. So the starting index would be zero, the next index would be one, the next index would be two. And then it'll accept a final one which we'll call the original list. So this is actually the original um, array or the original collection that we're going to be iterating over. Now the way the reject works is that basically the predicate function, if it returns true, the item is rejected from the result. If the predicate function returns false, then the item is added to the result. So it's basically the exact opposite of filter. So if it's true, we won't include it in the final result, and if it's false, then we will. So basically what I want to do is I want to include in my final result all numbers that are basically less than 6. So to do this, I'm going to have to kind of think in a little bit opposite way, and I'm basically going to write a function that looks like this. Um, return value greater than 5. So this means that when it gets to 6, 7, and 8, this predicate function will return true. By returning true, those values will not be included in the result. So let's save this. Oh, we have to output our value to the console first. So let's say console.dir result. And then we'll jump back to the web browser and reload. And you'll see that we have an array here of 1 to 5. So when it returned true, that is for values 6, 7, and 8, they were not included in the result because we're using the reject function. Of course, if we use the filter function instead, like this, and then we came back and actually reloaded that, we would see that we would get 6, 7, and 8. So you can see that they're opposites of each other. The next function we'll take a quick look at is the sum function. Basically what this means is, is there at least one item in the list that matches the condition of the predicate function. So is there at least one item in the list that's greater than 5? Of course we know that's true because we have 6, 7, and 8. So if we were to save that and then reload, we'll see that it comes back true. Now let's go ahead and say if we have a value greater than 8, because we clearly don't have a value greater than 8 in the list, let's see what the result is. And now we see that it comes back false. The final one that we want to take a look at is every. Now every basically says that all the values in the list result in a true, um, in a true response from the predicate function. So in this case, we're actually going to have faults for all of them. But if we wanted to have true, we could say that is, is every value greater than 0 because 1 through 8, each of those values is greater than 0. Come over to our web browser and reload, and we'll see that now we have true because they're all greater than 0. Now let's say we had, had greater than 1. 2 through 8 are greater than 1, but the first value, 1, is not greater than 1. So let's go ahead and reload now. And now we see that we get false. So we can use the reject function as an opposite for the filter function and basically use a predicate to determine um, which items we don't include. 
Or we can use the sum function to say, does at least one of the items in our collection match the predicate? And if it does, return true. And then we can use every to see if every item does. Underscore collection functions really do make working with collections in JavaScript uh, a, a lot easier.